A sobering snapshot of a growing national crisis. Large homeless encampments swallowing once thriving business districts in America. Like so many cities, Phoenix is dealing with a surge of people with no access to shelter. News Nation's Ali Bradley joins us live. Ali, some business owners say their livelihood is basically being stolen. Yeah, Nicole, you're exactly right. Small businesses like the Old Station Sandwich Shop here in Phoenix are being plagued with what a lot of other big cities are dealing with as well. Take a look here, just next door. Homeless encampments plaguing the city of Phoenix and, as you mentioned, robbing them of their livelihood. So these city business owners are now dealing with two options. They are forced to adapt or close up shop. Sure, you can get wheat or white. Oh, okay. Delhi dreams and whole wheat wishes. In jeopardy in downtown Phoenix, a situation unfolding across the nation. Major cities reeling from post pandemic problems. Joe and Debbie Falacci opening the doors to the old station sandwich shop nearly 40 years ago. The couple says they've always felt safe until a few years ago. You know, the shelter started letting people camp on their property, then it, it, it just happened and it just exploded because the city has no control. That's when this once thriving neighborhood turned to what many call a tent city. As far as the eye can see, hundreds of people calling the streets surrounding his shop their home. Phoenix police deeming the area a hot spot for incidents where vacant office space nearly quadrupled from 2020 to 2022. Security now comes in the form of fencing around the shop as the Falachi say they have called the city for help multiple times to no avail. And for the first time, Joe is thinking the worst. This shop might become just another vacant building. It's a situation business owners all over the country are facing. The opioid crisis, the cost of housing and the pandemic, all factors many say are changing the face of once thriving neighborhoods. I think that you would find throughout the country an, an, an endemic, if not an epidemic of, of homelessness related to economic issues as they affect small businesses in downtown areas. The issues that are impacting and even influencing cities are going to wash over and affect suburbs. Between customers turning away and even having to hire security, the Falachi say they're losing money every day. And at this rate, really aren't sure how much longer they can keep the doors open. So it's getting more and more frustrating. Uh, and we're not getting any younger. You know, when we were younger, I think we were able to, to roll with the different things. Um, but getting older, it's, it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult what we have to go through. So the Falachi is telling me right now that while they're considering selling, they don't know if anyone would actually buy it because whenever pr prospective buyers come here, they see the issue and they're not interested anymore. Now, the Falachis did join in on a lawsuit last August that basically goes against the city, saying that the city is effectively destroying their property by not holding up their end of the responsibilities. Now, I did talk with the city. The city says that it has spent at least $50 million on the homelessness crisis here in Phoenix. Now, Nicole, they also say that they have added nearly 300 beds last year. They say around 800 are going to be available in the next two years. But this is what's really interesting. I went down here and I was talking to some of these folks. This is what they call the ugly, is what they say. And one of the young women in here, Esther, tells me that while she does have a place to sleep at night, during the day, she can't be at the shelter. She's out here on the streets. So this is an ongoing issue for them and likely one that will be ongoing until the city steps in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so many cities dealing with that. Thank you, Allie. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.